If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable, and make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to let EA know, bro, you're not slick, man. I'm on to you. I know what you're doing, man. I know you guys silent nerf the Lamar Jackson because I'm throwing one play tutties over everybody's head. Don't lie to me, bro, okay? Ever since that little small patch update, I don't know if you guys saw it or got it or you didn't even pay attention. There was this update maybe like a week and a half ago. It was like less than a gig. But ever since then, man, my Lamar ain't playing the same, bro. Okay? I, I, I don't know what it is. All right, I don't know if he's mad at me. But I think, all right, now I think, listen, I think EA, they're nerfing him, bro. They nerfed him. So we can't throw the one play tutties because he is the best player in Madden 22, hands down. Bunch quads, Raiders playbook. I was gonna say LA Raiders, <laughs> but Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook. If you're not using bunch quads and you're in the Raiders playbook, what are you doing? Now there's a trick to running this one play touchdown. This one mimics the gun bunch verticals one, but there's a little catch to this one. Now drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you're new, become a member, 335 wide meta, full breakdown is in the member section, the 335 Sam's in the member section, the single back wing stack, which has the run scheme with all the one play touchdowns, in the member section, the Trey White Flex. I use all these things to compete in the top 10, top 100. Now right here, pay attention if I can do this right. All right, yes, it's Y. Okay, I, was, I keep pressing RB and R1 when I play next gen because I lab both current and next gen and it's just, you wanna make sure that your bum receivers are right here where Brown is. So let me go ahead and put, I'm gonna put Boykin. Okay, Boykin's a bum, right? But it's all speed dependent. And then over here, I'll put uh, Brown. So Boykin, you know what? I could probably just come back and put Duvernay. Yeah, Duvernay. Let's put Duvernay. You can't have a really good wide receiver in this position. And I'm going to show you guys why. Gun bunch quads, drag under. This one just torches cover three. Random cover three. And all we want to do is put A on a streak. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's the setup. Lamar Jackson's the next factor because I was labbing and running around and seeing what the QB draw from this looks like. And it's actually pretty good. But with his ratings and how shitty he is as a wide receiver part of my language the middle third don't even respect him bro okay watch watch what i'm showing you guys since i put a bum in that position and we come to instant replay you guys know i got all the glitchy setups man you know i'm the number one stop you see how he <laughs> he's like man nah, guys a bum oh no yeah yeah no they are throwing it to him see so let me take y'all through that again okay let me take you through the thinking process although here comes tuberney he ain't shit, man. I'm not going to guard him. Yeah, I don't care. They're not going to throw it to him. Oh, no, they are throwing it to him. Ah, and he gets beat. So that's that's pretty much how it goes. So again, all you do is streak A, right? Boom. You'll see that he's over there and he's going to bell on him, bro. Look, <laughs> he bells on him, bro. Now, if we go back and we put a superstar wide receiver in there, we're like, not a superstar, but let's say a good wide receiver in that position, okay? It's okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and put Brown back in that position. And let's try to run the same play. Okay. Let me show you guys. Stats do matter when it comes to glitches. Hash, hash, uh, uh, ball placement matters. Let's go ahead and put a on a streak. Now let's see. If we get the same, the same feel right here. Let's see if he bails on Brown. Oh, look what he doesn't bell on Brown. Interesting facts. Interesting things to know. Wouldn't you say homies? Let's try it again. Right here, he's open pretty much. I could just throw this now, but that's because the defense has, wasn't flipped. You have to flip the defense and match your inside thirds and middle thirds or whatever to the right side. You know what I'm saying? So here we go again. A on a streak, boom. You'll see that he actually plays him and he's there. I mean, we kind of, I mean, we were still kind of there, but the moment we put a bum wide receiver there, they lose all respect for that guy. And they don't even care because they're like, oh, they're not gonna pass it to this bum. So let's go ahead and just put Bateman. Let's put Brown here and come back and put Duvernay. Okay, Duvernay. Nobody respects Duvernay, man. Can can Duvernay get some love, bro? Can Duvernay get a little bit of love, please? We're going to put Duvernay on a streak now. Now let's see how they play it. He don't care again. He's back to not caring. So you guys see, sometimes in this game, your bum wide receivers are your better players. I'm just gonna let this play right out. 
Okay, I mean, I just threw a, I threw a Stevie there, but I don't care. We're, that we're not taking that one serious. All right, so don't hold that against me. So A on a streak again. You're gonna notice that because of his ratings and the way he's a bum, they don't care. You see him not even caring about Duvernay. Like, oh, they're not gonna throw it to him. But then, oh, oh, sus, bro. Come on, bro. Pause, man. What are y'all doing? It's practice. Why are you jumping on him like that? Jeez, man. Here we go again. He bails from him. <laughs> he, he's like, nah, they're not going to throw it to him. And then Lamar Jackson, of course, can't make a completion because I don't know why. Now, against cover two, you can run the same drag under. I'm going to show you guys the setup. It's very easy. Um, you can move your wide receivers around if they're running a lot of cover two and try to bob them over the middle. But right here, I'm just going to keep Duvernay there. What I'm going to do is put him on a streak and Y on a flat. Now, if you're good enough or your receivers are good enough, you can pass lead this inside over the top. The only thing that can stop you with that right there is a middle third. So if they blew their cover twos, then they'll cook you. Now, if someone's running a base cover two, they're probably going to do that more than not. So you can still look warm. If you see that mid read delays a little bit and they put safeties and stuff in that position and they put fast ones, they're going to keep up with your bum wide receiver that you have in that position. Now you can move your fast wide receiver to the inside, uh, but just be careful with that. Now, as we put him on it, you'll see that I put the tight end on a flat. The read over here to the right is simple. Boom, we wait for him to bite. It's like a little hard flat or soft squat or cloud flat. You can come over here and hit this guy in cover two on the weak side. That's pretty much guaranteed yards uh, because people don't know how to set up Mabel's properly. I didn't put this guy on a flat. I'm, I'm a bum, but it's still a hard flat over here. And we throw this on a catch and run. And that is almost a touchdown, man. We're like a yard away. But you guys see just how easy it is to throw against cover two. I wouldn't recommend covering uh, using cover two in this game. Not right now, at least, bro. I'm going to try to throw this over the top. We're going to overthrow that because we're under pressure. I can't believe they did that to Lamar, bro. I know they did it. I know you guys have been using the Ravens to feel it, too. It's not just me. Right here, catch and run. Now, right here, like, if, if depending on how I throw it, maybe I can get it more accurate. But, like, in game plays, he does overthrow it, like, consistent. It's like almost every other play, bro. Like, I didn't put him on a flat again. Bum mistakes, but it's all good. Now, if you want to throw it accurate, but you don't know how far Lamar's going to throw it, you can stop, plant your feet, and then throw it. The only problem with that is that he won't throw it far enough, bro, sometimes. Sometimes, like, he'll just let it. Like, you got to come back down or slow down. You know what I mean? So, that setup right there, you also have your crossing route with the drag. All you have to do is just snap a quick snap of your opponent, and you just come over here and read the drag. It's mostly going to be your drag if they're playing over the top, and if they play hard flats and you notice the corners are sitting low, then it's obviously going to be your crossing route, but you can quick snap your opponent, make them mad, and just come over here. You'll have A right here on the sideline. Boom. You know, easy money. You also have the QB draw. So right here in your audibles, you have QB draw. And what I like to do is ball carrier goes to conservative. They'll ever try to run with your quarterback. If you're going to be running these kind of plays, make sure you go to conservative with your quarterback or else you're going to get cooked. Don't be the hero. Be the smart guy. Okay, so you can run QB draw. I'm a bum because I ran straight at him. You're supposed to, like, take off to the right. You know what I mean? Like... Take off to the right or to the left. Doesn't even have to be to the right. It could be to the left and you just take off up the field. In current gen, this play works a lot better because the game moves faster and people aren't ready for it. But you crow here with QB draw and you can go right or left. Boom, up the sideline, get out of bounds. Be careful. I don't know how stamina works uh, in this game. So there it is, man. Just different setups, different things. You can blend in with the glitchy stuff in the game. Make sure you drop a like.